Hello again, New Life, and welcome to the Advent series. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, a thick darkness of the people, but the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will be seen upon you. That's Isaiah chapter 60. John says this, that there was a man sent from God, and his name was John, John the Baptist. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came bear witness about the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. Jesus Christ is the light, and he is born into darkness, and it flees at his presence. As a kid, I, um, I was scared of the dark, I guess, like many. I, I remember our basement was kind of off limits at night. I would go down during the day and not think anything of it. But at nighttime, if I had to go down to the basement to get something, we did not have a light switch at the top of the stairs. You had to go down the stairs to hit a light switch. And walking down the stairs, I would want a flashlight or something because there were lots of boogeymen between the top of the stairs and the bottom of the stairs. I was scared to go down. I remember as a young boy having a paper route, uh, I would go out to deliver papers. This is, must be when I was, let's say, 10, 11, 12. Uh, I would go out to deliver papers at, at four in the morning and it was pitch dark. And every, every twig that broke, every squirrel in a tree, I was sure was some kind of bad guy coming to get me because of darkness. I was scared of the dark. And there's a sense in which we, we ought to be scared of the dark. But one very unique thing Darkness is extremely weak. If you sit in a dark room, pitch darkness all around you, and just light one candle, you'll see the darkness run away. Light dispels darkness seemingly without effort. It just pushes darkness away and darkness runs. And so as much as we think of darkness in our minds as having so much power. It really has none. I want to remind you as we worship Jesus through this Advent season, that darkness has no power in your life compared to Jesus. And so in any aspect of your life where you feel darkness oppressing you, coming upon you, where you feel darkness in your life, turn to Jesus the light of the world, and watch that darkness melt away. It has no power over you at all in Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is the light of the world and we celebrate him being born. Light shines, darkness runs away. We can rest in that. Last story of light and darkness. So this is a number of years ago. I was in Colorado hiking in the mountains. I was hunting actually. And I got stuck up in the mountains late at night and was not able to get down. I, in fact, I was following this ravine down and I followed it for a couple of hours. And I finally pulled out my compass because I thought I would be at the road. And when I looked at my compass, it was wrong. And I, I had to ask the question, okay, is my compass wrong or did I get turned around somewhere? So I'd walked for a couple of hours in the wrong direction and I didn't even know for how long. And so rather than continue to walk where I didn't know where I was in the mountains, it was time to, to hunker down. And your mind just starts to play games. And so in that context, any twig that broke was a mountain lion coming to get me. Eventually, I lit a fire. And when I finally got a fire lit, all was well with the world. The warmth of the fire the light of the fire, I could rest in the safety of that place. You can rest in the safety of Jesus. The warmth of Jesus, the light of Jesus Christ shine upon you. God bless and Merry Christmas.